Gapminder.org is a website developed by the Gapminder organization to make it very straightforward and easy for anyone to look at variations in social and economic factors uh, by geographic location. Generally speaking, people use the Gapminder tools in order to look at maps uh, and graphs that compare multiple variables over time. This default example here is life expectancy by per person uh, GDP uh, per capita. So um, that that's a really nice way to, to kind of get a sense of what kinds of information this website contains. But we are going to instead um, go straight into, we're going to go back to the home area because those tools are nice, but what we really want to do is download some data. Now I consider the data inside of this website to be a, an authoritative data source because there is enough information about where everything came from and these are all very much what we would consider primary authoritative sources of social and economic data. Uh, United Nations, the ILO, World Bank, um, OECD, World Bank, these would all be sources that I would directly point uh, anyone to as a good place to find information uh, about you know, these topics. So rather than going out to all of these places independently, you can come to Gapminder and get them all together. There are 519 different in, what they call indicators or variables available in this database. So you'll want to decide what you're interested in collecting some uh, information about. I'm going to I'm going to download a table of age at first marriage. Um, I, when I clicked on the name of it, this just gave me some information about the data, where it came from, what version was uploaded, things like that. Um, what I would like to do now, I could look at the data, I could visualize it in a graphic or a map, or I can download it as a spreadsheet. And that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to download this variable as a spreadsheet. Depending on your computer, this might look a little different. But the idea is you can save it or open it inside of Excel. Um, if you do not have Excel on your computer, it will probably find uh, what you what you do have that will allow you to open it. If you use Google Sheets, you would need to save this first, then go open up Google Sheets and uh, browse to the file and open it. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And I'm opening it up in Excel because I have Excel. Uh, most of the time you need to enable editing. There we go. We have countries here and we have the year of data here. And I only want one year's worth of data because each year is going to be treated as a separate variable or factor or element, data element, when we get into the mapping software. So I only want one year's worth. Age at first marriage happens to be a variable in the Gapminder site in which there's a lot of years of data, although it does not come all the way up to uh, current um, time. I'm just going to click delete here, and there I have my nice little thing. Now I am going to change my column headings so that I know what these are once I get into the ArcGIS Online software. And this is age at first marriage. And then this one here is country. And it is important that you do that so that when you pick out your which variable is your geographic unit, that you're able to do that. Now I'm going to remove the, the extent of this decimalization, uh, the decimal levels here. Uh, and that's going to take me a minute. And this is called data cleaning, when you go through and you get stuff cleaned up. Uh, most versions of Excel have these little buttons up here. So you just highlight some data, and then you shrink. Shrink, 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 shrink. I'm going to use one decimal level. Shrink, 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 shrink. And then I'll continue doing this. Until... And there I've completed that for all my data. Other things that I might want to do to help clean things up is if I'm missing data, there's no point in bringing that over. So I could remove those if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to right now. I know that we are going to run into some scenarios where the way that countries have been uh, distinguished here are not going to match up with uh, the ArcGIS online. I'm not sure exactly which ones this will be an issue for, but I'm willing to bet this one will for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and spell out Republic. So there's a number of things like that that 
you might find yourself needing to make some small changes to a data set that you have downloaded before it will work exactly the way you want it to uh, it within the mapping um, software and that's fine and that's called data cleaning and it's something that you know every researcher has to do to some extent I'm gonna stop with that because I'm not exactly sure which ones will and won't come over I figure most of them will and then I can always go in later and make some changes and redo it as I discover issues. So now I need to save this as what's called a CSV file, comma separated values. It is not an Excel file, it is a text file in which the columns of data are separated with a column. Now a uh, comma, now this is um, potentially an issue, but I think the software we're going to use understands these things well enough. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I just need to change that to CSV, which in Excel is about halfway down. Then decide where I'm going to save it to. Um, I'm going to name this file Age of, of Marriage and Save. It's going to say, your workbook has multiple sheets. Do you want to save only the active sheet? Yep, I just want to save that one. There we go. All right, so I'm done. I don't need to care about that Excel anymore. Now I don't need to care about Gapminder anymore. Now I'm going to go into ArcGIS Online. And the next video will walk you through the process of taking your CSV file and putting it into ArcGIS Online.